So right uh, today onwards, I'm going to be starting with uh, Python programming language. Okay, and uh, here I'm going to be treating like you people. So why this Python programming language is basically using for in real time in IT development, Python is the most popular programming language in the world. Python is most popular programming language in the world. Okay, so one more point I want to write here. Python is simple. Compare with uh, any other programming languages. Any other programming languages. And one more point. Python is open source. So no need to pay money for Python. So for example, if you want to work with Python programming, so for anything, for any other kind of uh, uh, downloading kind of things and you need to pay kind of things. So for Python, no need to pay anything. You no need to pay a single rupee or single paisa for anybody to download the Python software. Python software is free. You can download Python free and you can you can able to work with Python free. That is my reason I'm telling like Python is open source. Everybody can download free of cost. No need to pay money for the Python software. You can download Python free of cost. And one more important point I want to tell you guys. Python is a general purpose, general purpose programming language. See, what is the meaning of a general purpose programming language? I will tell you. What is the meaning of general purpose? So Python is used for develop web applications, See, for example, if you want to develop a web application, for example, I want to develop a, a www.facebook.com application. I want to develop a kind of www.amazon.in. Okay, so this is all web applications, www.youtube.com. Okay, so any kind of web application you can able to develop using with Python programming. For example, uh, in uh, in for company, for example, some X company, you want to develop some XYZ application, XYZ.com. Okay, it may be a social media application, it may be a real estate application, it may be a hospital application, it may be a banking application, whatever it may be. If you want to build your own web application, yes, Python is support. Python is used for develop web applications. Not only web application, Python is used for develop desktop applications see nowadays there are multiple kind of desktop applications are there okay so for example uh, in your machine in your windows system in your mac system in your linux system you have uh, something like uh, ms office ms office is the application which is installing in your system and one more thing something like a wordpad and one more something like a notepad and one more something like a uh, uh, zoom okay, zoom application is there and one more something like uh, like uh, uh, WhatsApp app. See, whatever the different different kind of desktop application, desktop applications are installing inside the desktop. Okay, let me tell you, desktop applications are installing in our operating system. In our operating system. And the web applications, then web applications. Web applications are Web applications are running with browser. Without having browser, I cannot able to launch any application. See, this uh, facebook.com, if I want to launch this application, any browser needed. It may be a Chrome, it may be a Firefox, it may be a Safari. Okay, so you will, you will, need, a, you will need one browser to launch this website. All this site, all these uh, applications, for example, if I want to launch this Amazon, yeah, Amazon also need uh, this kind of browser. And uh, YouTube, yes, you need to have a browser. Without having the browser, you cannot able to launch the web applications. Okay, let me give the points one by one. So this is the first kind of application. Python is used for, so why I'm telling all these things, Python is general purpose programming language. Uh, what is the meaning of general purposes? It is the purpose of developing web applications. And a second kind of application, Python is used for develop desktop applications. 
yes ms office i can able to install ms office in our windows machine for example and wordpad yes wordpad uh, i can able to install in my windows machine okay notepad by default available that is okay and zoom for example if you want to install the zoom application yeah you can install the zoom in windows you can install the zoom in mac you can install the zoom in linux and whatsapp app whatsapp app also you can install in windows you can install in mac you can install in uh, linux operating system okay so this is a kind of uh, desktop applications python is used for develop desktop applications the first kind of application is python is used for develop web applications and second kind of thing python is used for develop desktop applications and the third kind of applications python is used for develop mobile apps mobile apps okay so for example i want to i want to create a mobile app like facebook i want to create a mobile app like instagram okay, okay. these these applications which are available in play store and these applications which are available in app store so from app store apple people will download from play store android people will download instagram also available in play store and uh, instagram also available in app store right so for play store app store is mobile apps you can download mobile apps from play store android people can download from play store and uh, iphone people can download from app store so like this facebook like this instagram maybe i want to develop uh, some xyz application xyz app xyz app it may be a social media it may be a shopping cart it may be a hospitality it may be a real estate whatever it may be so i want to develop one app my own which need to which need to submit it to the play store and which need to submit to the app store for the users for iphone users for android users i want to develop some application my xyz app should be available in the play store my xyz app should be available in the app store so for that also python is used now tell me one by one python is using for develop web applications python is used for develop desktop applications python is used for develop mobile apps now one more nowadays you are listening a word very very famous word python is used for develop data science applications okay so nowadays the buzzword is data science nowadays the buzzword is data science yes sir no nowadays the buzzword is data science people are going to be developing nowadays data science applications are very huge in demand data sciences nowadays people are developing data science applications using with python later we will discuss what is data science and what are the different kind of algorithms and techniques we can write in data science at all and one more thing python is used for one more important one artificial intelligence applications <coughs> artificial intelligence applications python is used for develop data science applications python is used for develop artificial intelligence applications and one more important uh, word which are going to be available in the market which is available in the market python is used for blockchain applications nowadays a buzzword is is used for develop here also develop artificial develop blockchain applications blockchain apps okay python is used for web applications one one first one python used for web applications second one python used for desktop applications third one python used for mobile applications fourth one python used for data science applications fifth one python used for ai applications artificial intelligence ai okay, let me tell you like ai so nowadays the buzzword is ai and python is used for develop blockchain applications and one more thing not only this python is used for develop games or gaming applications okay you may people are uh, regularly playing with the games different different kind of games like so a uh, lot of people are actually addicted with the games right so uh, P P python is used for develop a gaming applications also okay and one more thing python is used for develop cloud applications cloud applications 
and python is used in devops so you know the buzzword called devops okay so in devops also python is there and python is used for develop autocad autocad 2d 3d applications autocad 2d 3d applications okay so everywhere python is there sir everywhere python is there wherever you go in it industry wherever you go in it industry python is compulsory so in your curriculum as in your resume as whatever the technology you are going to be learning but python is mandatory in your resume without uh, python programming fundamentals without python programming concepts your resume is waste definitely with your resume you have to mention two technical skills one is the user interface technologies ui technologies and one is the python programming later you are uh, expert in data science you are expert in artificial intelligence or you are expert in that devops or you are expert in cloud you are expert in gaming you are expert in web application development whatever it may be but some prerequisites for the every resume what are the prerequisites for the every resume is python prerequisite for every resume is python and one more prerequisite for the every resume is UI, user interface, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Yes. So why? Because I'm telling like this. So I will show one thing. Top uh, 10 trending programming languages. If I'm writing something like this. Top trending programming languages in 2024. If I'm searching for this. 20 best programming languages in 2024. So I just want to see the list of the programming languages. The most, there is, a, is there any list here? Okay, somewhere uh, I got a list. Uh, can you see the list here? Can you see the list here? Uh, 20 programming languages are there. Okay, let me take this picture copy and I want to give in the notes. Okay, top trending programming languages in 2020 okay so i just want to make a heading for this top trending programming languages in 2024 i want to mention just like this can you see here n number of programming languages 20 programming languages which are going to be available here but uh, what are the top one and two uh, can you please text me here what are the one and two here what are the one and two the top top one trending is javascript top two trending is python so that is the reason i already i already mentioned you i already mentioned you just at least you should have some programming fundamentals with python you should have some programming fundamentals with javascript with your resume so whenever you are preparing a resume whenever you are preparing a resume okay whenever you are preparing a resume so some prerequisites some prerequisites are there. What are the prerequisites for your resume? The one and two. One and two. I know some fundamentals in JavaScript. I know some fundamentals in Python. Something like this. You have to show later. So whenever you are preparing the resume, prerequisites are JavaScript and Python. Just at least you need to mention some programming skills on your resume. Like I know some, some programming fundamentals in JavaScript. I know some programming fundamentals in Python. You have to show after that, okay, you are the web developer. For example, I am web developer. You prepare your resume with the web developer. Okay, I am data scientist. If you are data scientist, you prepare your resume like a data scientist. Okay, you are a cloud architect or cloud developer or cloud engineer. Okay, you can prepare your resume as cloud engineer. That is okay. Or you are a mobile app developer. You can prepare your resume like this. But at least before before doing all these things, uh, at least you have to show some programming fundamentals in your resume. Those programming fundamentals are one is JavaScript and one is the Python. You have to mention it. Okay. Uh, am I clear, guys? So here in this class, what I want to do is I will I will teach both JavaScript and Python completely free of cost. I need I no need to take the money from you guys. Okay, I'm going to be teaching the JavaScript and Python from you people. Okay, so uh, at least I'm, I just want to give the free sessions of this JavaScript and Python for the more and more people. 
so later later they will specialized with the web developer they are going to be specializing with the data science they are going to be specializing in the cloud they are going to be specializing with the mobile apps or they are going to be specializing with some other ai concepts or blockchain concepts that will be a different uh, scenario but at least uh, your resume should need as a fresher you your resume should need some programming fundamentals like javascript or python javascript or python okay so i will teach uh, some session for the python i will teach uh, some other session for the javascript for you people definitely i just want to make you people uh, strong in these two programming languages at least later on based on your timings and all you you may join for the different other sessions like a web developer course or data scientist or cloud engineer or mobile app developer maybe different so i hope you guys are understanding why python is mandatory so why python is mandatory the python is mandatory why because it is in top 1 and 2 always it is top 1 and 2 it may be in 2025 python will go 1 javascript will go 2 but 1 and 2 will flip 1 and 2 will flip sometime javascript is going trend sometime python is going to be trend but 1 and 2 you should you should be available you should be there okay what are the benefits of the python programming language i am giving the benefits what are the benefits the first benefit is the first benefit is python is most popular programming language in the world and one more benefit python is simple compare with any other programming languages for example sir i want to learn some programming language sir which is the easy for me okay so when when i say programming language everybody is actually getting fear about the programming sir programming language oh my god i can't able to learn programming language sir i am not from computer background i don't know anything about the variables operators loops and conditions so sir please uh, give me some suggestion which programming language is is a simple one so definitely i will go through that so definitely i will suggest it to you guys the python is simple compare with any other programming languages if you want to learn and one more important feature of the python python is open source yes python is open source you can download free download free that is the why reason i said python is open source and one more is python is general purpose when i say general purpose i need to say a lot of things why it is general purpose why general purpose why general purpose sir why i said uh, python is general purpose what is the meaning of general purpose what is the meaning of general store i i will ask a simple question you guys uh, what is the meaning of general store మీరు చూస్తుంటారు కదా మీ ఇళ్ళ దగ్గర వాట్ ఈస్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ జనరల్ స్టోర్ జనరల్ స్టోర్ అంటే ఏంటి ఆల్ ఐటమ్స్ విల్ బీ అవైలబుల్ ఇన్ ద జనరల్ స్టోర్ ఇఫ్ యూ గో ఫర్ డి మార్ట్ ఇఫ్ యూ గో ఫర్ ద సంథింగ్ లైక్ రిలయన్స్ ఆర్ ఇఫ్ యూ గో ఫర్ సమ్ జనరల్ స్టోర్ ఇఫ్ యూ గో ఫర్ జనరల్ స్టోర్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ విల్ బీ అవైలబుల్ దర్ సో నాకు కావాల్సిన అన్ని ప్రొడక్ట్స్ అక్కడ దొరుకుతున్నాయని అర్థం అంటే ఇట్ మీన్స్ వాట్ పైథాన్ ఇస్ జనరల్ పర్పస్ మీన్స్ యూ కెన్ డెవలప్ web application in python using with python you can develop uh, desktop application with python you can develop mobile apps with python you can develop data science application with python you can develop uh, artificial intelligence applications with python you can develop blockchain applications with python you can develop gaming applications with python you can develop cloud applications with python you can develop devops uh, you can do devops with python and you can develop uh, autocad 2d 3d applications with python సో పైథాన్తో ఏదైనా చేయొచ్చండి దట్ ఈస్ అవర్ రీజన్ పైథాన్ ఈజ్ మోస్ట్ అండ్ మోస్ట్ పాపులర్ సో ఇక్కడ నేను ఒకటే చెప్తున్నాను వెన్ ఎవర్ యూ వాంట్ టు ప్రిపేర్ యువర్ రెజ్యూమే అట్లీస్ట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు షో సమ్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ ఫండమెంటల్స్ ఐదర్ జావాస్క్రిప్ట్ ఐదర్ పైథాన్ రెండు ఉంటే ఓకే ఒక్కటి అట్లీస్ట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు షో అట్లీస్ట్ జావా స్క్రిప్ట్ ఆర్ అట్లీస్ట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు షో పైథాన్ బట్ నౌ వీ ఆర్ లర్నింగ్ పైథాన్ దట్ ఈస్ ఓకే ఫైన్ లేదు సార్ నేను రెండు పెట్టుకుంటాను ఐ వాంట్ టు కీప్ ఇన్ మై రెజ్యూమే జావా స్క్రిప్ట్ అండ్ పైథాన్ వెల్ అండ్ గుడ్ and you can able to become web developer very easily if you know javascript and python very good then you become web developer easily damn sure okay so come to the python so how to install python so there are different different uh, concepts we have to do one is uh, how to install python and uh, what are the editors to write the python code i will show all these things in coming sessions okay so editors to write the python code how to install python and uh, what are the programming fundamentals what are the programming fundamentals with python the all these things we will discuss one by one
ఎస్ సార్ నాకు పైతాన్ నేర్చుకోవాలని ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఉంది బట్ ఎలా ఇన్స్టాల్ చేయాలి ఇన్ మై సిస్టమ్ ఎలా ఇన్స్టాల్ చేయాలి అండ్ వేర్ ఐ కెన్ రైట్ మై పైతాన్ కోడ్ ఎక్కడ రాయాలి కోడ్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ ఐ ఇఫ్ ఐ వాంట్ టు రైట్ పైతాన్ కోడ్ అండ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద డిఫరెంట్ డిఫరెంట్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ అవైలబుల్ ఇన్ పైతాన్ పైతాన్ లో ఏమేమి కాన్సెప్ట్స్ ఉన్నాయి సో ఇవన్నీ మనం చెప్పుకుందాం వన్ బై వన్ చెప్పుకుందాం అండ్ వన్ మోర్ ఫీచర్ అబౌట్ పైతాన్ ఐ విల్ టెల్ యూ ఒక ఫీచర్ రాస్తాను చూడండి పైథాన్ ఈజ్ డైనమిక్ టైప్డ్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ డైనమిక్ టైప్డ్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ పైథాన్ అనేది డైనమిక్ టైప్డ్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ సో దీని గురించి కూడా మనం తర్వాత మాట్లాడుకుందాం వాట్ ఈస్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ డైనమిక్ టైప్ అంటే ఐ విల్ టెల్ యూ వన్ స్మాల్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇన్ అదర్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లాంగ్వేజెస్ లైక్ సి సి ప్లస్ ప్లస్ అండ్ జావా సి కానీ సి ప్లస్ ప్లస్ కానీ జావా కానీ తీసుకోండి ఎనీ అదర్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ఉంటాయి సి సి ప్లస్ ప్లస్ ఆర్ జావా ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు డిక్లేర్ సంథింగ్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఐ వాంట్ టు డిక్లేర్ ఇంట్ ఎక్స్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు టెన్ ఇంట్ అనేది ఒక డేటా టైప్ ఐ వాంట్ టు మెన్షన్ ఇంట్ ఎక్స్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు టెన్ ఓకే సో హియర్ what is this int here int is the data type x is the variable 10 is the value int is the data type x is the variable variable name 10 is the value okay i want to define some string data okay you have to define the data type first of all okay so string an cheppali first i need to say something like string and i need to say something like string yokka peru s s ki nenu edanna peru pettali something like srinivas srinivas an raam ఓకే సో దాన్ని ఒక డబుల్ కోర్స్ లో సింగిల్ కోర్స్ లో పెట్టాలి సో ఇక్కడ చూడండి స్ట్రింగ్ అనేది డేటా టైప్ ఇంట్ అనేది డేటా టైప్ స్ట్రింగ్ అనేది డేటా టైప్ డేటా టైప్ మెన్షన్ చేయాలి డేటా టైప్ ని మెన్షన్ చేయాలి వెన్ ఎవర్ యూఆర్ గోయింగ్ విత్ అదర్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లాంగ్వేజెస్ డేటా టైప్ కంపల్సరీ మెన్షన్ చేయాలి డేటా టైప్ మ్యాండేటర్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు మెన్షన్ బట్ కమ్ టు ద పైథాన్ పైథాన్ ఈజ్ వాట్ డైనమిక్ టైప్ అని చెప్తున్నాం పైథాన్ ఈజ్ వాట్ dynamic type no need to mention the data type x is equal to 10 over x is equal to 10 over sir no need to specify the int s is equal to srinivas s is equal to srinivas aipindi okay so here i don't have int and string ikkada int ledu string ledu kada can you see observe can you see observe int ledu string ledu so here this is not available in dynamic type this is actually called a static type deenni static type annaru static type annaru static type programming languages c c++ java c sharp all these are static type programming languages static type but come to the python python is what type of programming language python is dynamic cheppandi dynamic typed oh, when, when i say dynamic typed no need to mention the data type when i say dynamic typed uh, what is the purpose of the dynamic typed no need to no need to mention no need to mention data type no need to mention the data type anduke danni dynamic type cheppan kada python is dynamic type that is the best feature in python బెస్ట్ ఫీచర్ పైతాన్ లో ఉన్న బెస్ట్ ఫీచర్ ఏంటంటే డైనమిక్ టైప్ చూడండి ఎన్ని ఫీచర్స్ ఉన్నాయి మోస్ట్ పాపులర్ ఉంది సింపుల్ అంటున్నాము ఓపెన్ సోర్స్ అంటున్నాము డైనమిక్ టైప్ అంటున్నాము జనరల్ పర్పస్ అంటున్నాము ఇన్ని ఫీచర్స్ ఉన్నప్పుడు వై నాట్ పైతాన్ పైతాన్ ఎందుకు నేర్చుకోవద్దు ఇన్ని మంచి ఫీచర్స్ ఉన్నప్పుడు ఇన్ని ఆఫర్స్ ఉన్నప్పుడు వై నాట్ యూ కెన్ వై నాట్ ఎందుకు నేర్చుకోకూడదు పైతాన్ ఎస్ డెఫినెట్లీ వీ కెన్ లర్న్ పైతాన్ వెరీ ఈజీలీ చాలా ఈజీగా పైతాన్ నేర్చుకోవచ్చు పైతాన్ అనేది చాలా కంఫర్టబుల్ చాలా డెడ్ ఈజీ ఐ విల్ టెల్ ద పైథాన్ వన్ బై వన్ స్టెప్ బై స్టెప్ సో మనం ఏం చేద్దాము కమింగ్ క్లాసెస్లో అంటే విల్ గో విత్ ఇన్స్టాలేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద పైథాన్ విల్ గో విత్ ఎడిటర్స్ వేర్ టు రైట్ ద పైథాన్ కోడ్ అండ్ ఆల్ అండ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద పైథాన్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ ఫండమెంటల్స్ అన్నీ చేద్దాం వన్ బై వన్ వన్ బై వన్ వీ విల్ డూ ఆల్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్స్